Saturday, February the 7th, 2009. Temperatures have been soaring above 40 degrees for days. Now the winds are rising and Victoria holds its breath. Well, there's simply no way of underestimating the fire threat Victoria is facing over the next 24 hours or so. During Saturday, a gale force north wind will combine with extreme heat and that's not a good combination in terms of fire potential. And fire authorities are warning the public to prepare for the worst. flame that came up that mountain. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, you're down. In ancient times, Australian Aborigines considered fire one of the basic elements of the universe, along with water, air, and dirt. Aborigines painted their bodies with complex designs and danced in front of man-made fires. In fact, bushfires are not a new phenomena. Australia has a long history of devastating bushfires, with fires on record accounting for hundreds of deaths and thousands of properties being destroyed. The natural fire regime in Australia was altered by the arrival of humans. It is assumed that a good deal of this change came about as the result of deliberate action by early humans, setting fires to clear undergrowth or drive game. The 2009 Black Saturday bushfires were not the only bushfires to strike Australia. Bushfires are an ever-present part of life in Australia, and recent events have seen unfathomable levels of devastation. In fact, Australia can expect serious bushfires in six or seven years out of every ten years. This is the story of Australia's most devastating bushfire. A day of disaster as it unfolded to those who were there. Mid-morning in Melbourne, and senior firefighters are gathering. They're studying the fire danger index, combining temperature, wind speed, humidity, and fuel data. It measures the risk of a bushfire on a scale of naught to 100. Today, the index is peaking close to 200. Armed with this information, ABC Radio, the designated emergency broadcaster, transmits the warnings. On February 7, Victorians were told to brace for the worst day in the state's history. Weather forecasters warned of record heat wave with temperatures soaring to 115.5 degrees Fahrenheit, combined with gale force winds of up to 90 kilometers per hour. That day, more than 47 major fires erupted across the state, 14 of them claiming lives or causing significant damage. The most deadly conflagration, known as the Kilmore East Fire, which claimed 121 lives, was sparked by a faulty power pole near the township of Kilmore East, 60 kilometers north of Melbourne. The flames quickly jumped a major highway and roared into a forest where they turned into a giant fireball, dwarfing the resources of local firefighters who could only flee in its path. Aided by a combination of steep slopes and powerful winds, this fire raced through a series of townships including King Lake, where 38 people died, Strathawin, 27 perished, and St. Andrews, where 12 were killed, catching residents by surprise and trapping many in their homes. Some sought to escape by car as the fires approached, but dozens died on the road as they were overtaken by the fire, which left 328 feet above the tree line and was powerful enough to kill with radiant heat from 984 feet away. I just remember just gasping for air. It's just like there wasn't a lot of oxygen in the air. It was that, it was that hot and that stuffy, and you're just breathing in smoke. You could barely even breathe. By mid-afternoon, the catastrophe has begun. Ten uncontrollable fires are now burning. Nine major roads and highways are blocked and closed. Beyond the Kilmore and Murrindindi fires, the west is a blaze of portion and coal rain. And to the southeast in Bunyip, containment lines are breached. Not since the worst bushfires in Victoria's history in 1939 has Melbourne been so surrounded by fire. And it's getting even worse. Victoria ablaze, counting the cost of the worst bushfires in decades. I've got nothing. It's all gone. <sighs> At least 36 people dead, the toll expected to rise, entire townships wiped out. 
the whole state just erupted and they moved so rapidly. The fight far from over, with fires still burning across the state. The emotional scars from Black Saturday continued to resonate. Many affected families refused to rebuild their homes, saying that the risk of another fire was too great. The tragedy reminded Australians that the notion of living in the bush might still hold romantic appeal for many city dwellers, but it carried with it the very real and deadly threat of bushfire. The original Strategic Bushfire Management Plan produced in 2005 was the first document of its kind to provide the framework for integrated bushfire management by utilizing the RPPRR framework, Research Prevention, Preparedness, Response, and Recovery. Assistance to Australia in the wake of the Victorian bushfires of 2009 came from everywhere. Federal Parliament was suspended due to the emergency. Members of the Australian Defence Force were immediately dispatched to provide assistance in that state. More than 4,000 firefighters from the County Fire Authority worked to battle the fires. Humanitarian responses to the fires came quickly. The bushfire appeal raised more than $372 million in total from organizations like the Australian Red Cross. They are amongst 173 people who lost their lives on the day that will be forever known as Black Saturday. For those who survived Australia's worst bushfire disaster, life goes on.